Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Wednesday, April 25th, the Feast of St. Mark. Today's readings are from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 5, Psalm 89, and from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16. Today's reflection is from Father Ed Benelay, a priest of the Diocese of Youngstown, Ohio. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. Lord Jesus, you raise us to A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon Him, because He cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, 
as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. of the Lord I will sing forever through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness for you have said my kindness is established forever in heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness forever I will sing Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through their accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the Bread of Life, a reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Ed Benelite, a priest of the Diocese of Youngstown, Ohio. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Mark, author of the earliest Gospel. Mark is believed to be the cousin of Barnabas and the John Mark, who is mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles, who accompanied Paul on his first missionary journey. St. Irenaeus, a church father of the second century, tells us that after the martyrdom of St. Peter, Mark, the disciple and interpreter of Peter, transmitted to us in writing what Peter had preached. Mark is said to have gone to Alexandria, Egypt, and he became the first bishop of that city and it is there that possibly he was martyred 
in the eighth year of the reign of Nero, approximately 62 to 63 A.D. Mark is the patron of Egypt and of Venice, and it's in Venice that his relics are located. When we read the Gospel of Mark, we are reaching back to the earliest canonical record of Christ's life and death and resurrection. Perhaps today we can read and meditate on a portion of his Gospel as we celebrate this feast, the Feast of St. Mark. And for Living Bread Radio, this is Father Ed Benelite. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. For spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com, where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts.